Hey guys, so a new topic that has gone viral or semi-viral is basically white influencers, Instagram models, Instagram famous girls, whatever you want to call them, um, basically doing modern day blackface. Now, when I posted this on my Instagram, a lot of people said I was reaching. Um, they said I was reaching. This isn't blackface. You know, what's wrong with getting a tan? What's wrong with, um, you know, doing your makeup a little bit, using darker makeup? What's wrong with that? That's not blackface. You know, even as a makeup artist, yes, we do alter our looks. You know, we do live in a day and age where, yes, women get longer nails. We get longer hair, shorter hair. We make our eyes a little larger a little dark a little smaller you know what I mean we contour our noses and our lips I completely understand that but I am gonna come for you when you're using modern day blackface to capitalize off of blackness now first of all I do want to talk about people um basically discrediting biracial black women and I just want to just give you guys um just my take on being mixed of mixed race and and biracial and the correlation to black women if you, if I have a baby, me as a Nigerian black woman, if I have a baby with an Asian man, you mean to tell me that this baby that came out of my Nigerian vagina is not black? Like, I really want you to think about that. You're telling women that because they're not 100% black, but yet they're 50 or maybe 60 or maybe 70% black, they're not, they're not considered black. I'm sorry. If your mother is black, if your father is black, you are black. That's honestly beyond the point. Like, I just had to address that because certain people were just like, oh, this is not your fight because you're not biracial. You're not, you know, you're not mixed. This is still my fight. And I'm going to explain to you why. Now, these women who are not black... Meaning they don't have a black mother, they don't have a black father, they don't have a black grandmother or a black grandfather, and they have no, maybe 0.3%, if we did a DNA test, maybe 0.3% of African in their blood. These people are not black, therefore they do not have the right to tan themselves darker than a lot of women that are black. Some of these girls are damn near my complexion in the photos. Now let's talk about it because Instagram is a marketing technique. So a lot of people can sit there and say, oh, it's just Instagram. No, honey, I'm stopping bags. Okay, <laughs> I'm stopping bags because Instagram is a business. And these girls know what they're doing. They're target marketing. They know that melanin is quote unquote trending. Well, I'm sorry, sweetie. For someone who lives in this melanin 24-7, I'm not going to allow you to treat it like a trend. Because dark skin is trending, now you want to be dark. Fat asses are trending, now you want a fat ass. Now, I do have to shout out the Shade Room in Sweden. Honey, they had all the receipts. Um, so he was the one that initially, I, I believe it was two people, um, but he initially exposed this one Instagram model who was posing to being um, biracial or Latina or of mixed race, however you want to call it. Um, she was posing to be just that. And people kind of reached out when they saw her on YouTube. So now she can't manipulate, you can't manipulate YouTube. Okay, you got to be your real, raw self on YouTube. The filters, the, the face tune, darkening your photos. You can't do that on YouTube. So when they saw her YouTube video, one, she used the foundation about four shades darker. And two, they realized, wait a minute, you're white. You're white. I've been blackfished. I've been blackfished. I've been nigga fished. See, everybody can't say the word nigga, so I ain't want to say nigga fished on here, but I've been black fished. I thought you were black. I followed you because I thought you were black or partial black, mixed. When you're 100% white. Manipulate your photos so that you look like a dark skin or a medium tan skin woman. What you're not going to do is play the racial ambiguous. Oh, maybe I'm Latina. Maybe I'm um, black. Maybe I'm mixed with whatever. You're not going to play the racial ambiguous role when you're not racially ambiguous. 
Point blank, period. And for the people, once again, back to the whole mix, this is not the dark woman's fight. This is not the black woman's fight. It absolutely is. Because everything, every single thing comes from everything that's that's trending comes from blackness like let's just keep it 100 percent funky she's getting we- shots to get tan because let's talk about it do your research these people are getting shots these are illegal shots to make their skin darker manipulating your photos to make yourself look darker so that you can get endorsements. Let me tell y'all something. Some of these girls are getting endorsements from natural hair brands. Do you know why the natural hair movement started? Do you know what assimilation is? Because a lot of people just don't understand and they just want to throw, oh, well, black girls wear blonde weave. Well, black girls, do you even know why we ever put a piece of weave on our heads? Do you know why? And it's the same, it's the same thing that we, we, we once again, trying to make ourselves feel better, trying to assimilate, trying to become a part of a society that says that you are not beautiful. And then when you finally feel that you are beautiful, someone else will try and imitate you after they just told you that you were not beautiful. But you want to be just like me. You want me to hate myself so bad and change myself to be you so that you could be me. And that's why I said it's so important for you to know your history. It's so important for you to know and self-learn. Self-learn. Because if you let one thing slip, another thing will slip. Another thing will slip and another thing will slip. And next thing you know, like I just said, they got the whole game flipped around. Next thing you know, they calling us white. Next thing you know, they they the originators of, of the tan skin. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and people get so mad. Like, oh, you reach and it's not that serious. If you let one thing like that slide, everybody starts doing it. And it becomes a brainwashing system. Modern day slavery. Modern day blackface. Modern day brainwash. Now everybody's brainwashed now. You got the black girls bleaching and the white girls getting tan shots. Can y'all, can y'all imagine a world like that? And I'm not supposed to say nothing about it as one of the originals, <laughs> as a queen, as a goddess, as a I'm not supposed to say nothing. I'm not supposed to feel no type of way because that's it's, it's for the racial ambiguity. It's for, it's for the racial ambiguous girls. I'm not supposed to feel no way about it because I'm not racial ambiguous. Have you seen some of these girls pictures? Fuck racial ambiguous. They're trying to look black. They're trying to look black love that instagram shows that you know what not only are white women beautiful not only are latinas beautiful not only are racial ambiguous women beautiful but raw black women are beautiful too and i'm tired of people dividing us that's number one and number two i'm tired of people just always trying to take credit when credit is not due. Now let's talk about life. Let's talk about real life. Fuck Instagram for a second. Let's talk about real life. Most dark skinned girls face colorism. Within one, their own community. And two, in general. Most. I want to say all, but then you have these dark skin girls that live in a little bubble and, and you know, they, they've they been the girls that's been told, oh, well, you're you're so pretty. You're the, you're the prettiest dark skin girl that, oh my God, I've never seen a, a dark skin girl so pretty like that. They they ate that up. They ate that up. They didn't, they didn't realize that that was actually an insult. They ate that up. So to them, they've never experienced colorism because everyone told them that they were the prettiest dark skin girl that anyone has ever seen. They told them, that, oh my God, you look like Kelly Rowland. You're, you're, you're like the Kelly Rowland. So, you know, there are that percentage of dark skin girls who don't, oh, I've never faced colorism. Let's call a spade a fucking spade. Regardless of what nationality you are, there are light people and there are darker people, except white people. I'm sorry, white people. Y'all are just white. Y'all have different undertones, but there are no darker white people and lighter white people. Y'all all vary slightly on a scale of paleness. Let's just be honest. Like, let's just be honest. Yes, you do tan. We're talking about naturally. We're not talking about tanning in the sun. And oh, I'm talking about you came out 
and your skin and your skin is your skin. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all vary slightly undertone wise. But for the dark for, for black people in general, we vary, baby. We got combina- we we got the keys to the combination lock, okay? Dark skinned women face colorism. Usually, maybe I would say by the time you hit college, for most dark skinned girls and in the millennial generation, by the time you hit college age, graduating high school is when you're unlearning at this point because you're learning so much more that dang. My brothers and my brothers and sisters in junior high school didn't know that they called me a, a African booty scratcher and laughed and called me nappy headed. They didn't know that that's what made me beautiful. To think outside of our bubble, we have to think outside of what we see. There are people in worlds where maybe they are the only, they might be ambi- racially ambiguous, but guess what? They they're the only racial ambiguous uh, family in that town. So everyone else is white. So to everyone else, they are 100% black, regardless of if their father is black or if their father is white. They still face racism. They still get discriminated against. These people are out here literally picking how dark they want their skin to be. Imagine living in a world where you can choose your fucking privilege. You know when I would choose to be white? At a job interview. When I'm at the bank trying to get a loan. Yeah, I, w- I, would, choose, I would choose to be white when, when it comes to financial shit. When it's time to run for um, a political platform, of course. Give me, give me white, white skin ASAP. These people are choosing how black they want to be. This is fucking scary. This is fucking scary. The movie Get Out was more than a movie. It's more than entertainment. This is how it starts, people. We have to call it out. Nip it now. You don't choose how black you want to be. <laughs> Yo, I swear to y'all, ignorance is bliss. I can't make this up. The more you know, the, the more upset you'll be. But it's better to know. Call it for what it is. Nip it in the butt. Or else Get Out is going to be a reality for like for real, for real. More than a movie.